What's going on everyone, Tom Goring back again for the final time. It all comes down to this. Welcome back to the finale of the F1 2020 My Team Career Mode series. I say finale because this might be the last ever episode, I, I am not sure. But it all comes down to this. Two drivers, two different cars, one more race to decide the World Championship. As you can see, the Drivers' Championship is still to be decided. We are, I believe, 15, actually not 15, is it 15? Yeah, 15 points ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Because if you didn't watch the last video, please go and watch it. That video changes the entire series. Thanks to Lewis Hamilton's DNF, we now lead the championship for the first time all season and we might be the ultimate opportunists to rob the world championship at the final race. Mercedes are the constructors champions, Nick De Vries hasn't done well this season but thanks to our ridiculous form in the second half of the championship and also with luck on our side we could take the title at the final race of the season. I'm not playing any games. I'm going soft the compound tire strategy. I'm going all our performance. I want to win the championship. It's time for the Brazilian Grand Prix. Formula One returns to Sao Paulo once again with the stage set for what promises to be another classic Brazilian Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel famously clinched his third championship here in 2012. And in 2016, Max Verstappen treated us to one of the finest wet weather drives of all time. It's an unusual anti-clockwise race here at Interlagos, where the Sao Paulo locals are packed into the grandstands at each of the 15 corners around this classic 2.7 mile circuit. Two very fast sections bookend the famous and highly technical sector two, where getting a good run out of Jun Sao into one of the two DRS zones will be the key to any overtaking prospects today. And so, for one final time this season, Anthony Davidson joins me in the commentary box. Well, the winter break is booming once again. No doubt many of those teams already have their eyes firmly on next season. But there's still work to be done here. Still championship positions to decide, which can make a big difference to the prize money. So no one's going to be taking their foot off the throttle just yet. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Thomas completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Leclerc, Pierre Gasly and Sainz, Ricardo, Perez, Kvyat and Max Verstappen, Norris, Ocon, Lance Stroll and Grosjean, Russell, Albon, Antoine Hubert and Kevin Magnussen. They've taken a grid penalty. Giovinazzi, Matsushita, Latifi and Nick de Vries. Still in with a shot at the driver's title. It's down to this. Now go out there and come back a champion. Qualifying was so close between myself and Lewis Hamilton. Five whole milliseconds, I think. Is it milliseconds? I, I don't know. It's either five hundredths or five thousandths of a second that separated me and Lewis Hamilton in qualifying. But Lewis Hamilton has gotten pole position in today's Brazilian Grand Prix. The permutations are literally quite clear. In order for Lewis Hamilton to win the championship, I need to finish uh, fourth. If he wins, I need to finish third or lower for him to, be, to, to become world champion. But if I finish ahead of him in any way, shape or form, or if I finish behind him, then I'm world champion. Either way, I can't finish third, actually no, fourth or lower. This has been one of the most intense finales I've ever done in an F1 career mode. I think F1 2018 Season 2, that was very dramatic. But this, this is ridiculous. I please go and advise you to watch the Mexican Grand Prix of the previous episode to understand the situation. But anyway, for the final time, it's five red lights. 
lights out and away we go in Brazil and as always we get a good start it's gonna be wheel to wheel between us and Lewis Hamilton entering turn one who's gonna get the upper hand we lock up there on the front left as we go in towards turn two he has the inside line but it's still side by side between the Mercedes and our car heading down in towards turn three uh, Valtteri Bottas looks to try and get ahead in towards turn three Hamilton has the advantage we are break him we take the lead of the Brazilian Grand Prix but we nearly make a mistake as we lock up as we lose the rear end and Hamilton Lewis Hamilton retains the lead as we go up the hill in towards sector two and he stays in the lead Hamilton is still in the lead of the Brazilian Grand Prix but we're still in P2 that's all that matters to us we don't need to overtake Lewis Hamilton but we need to make sure that Gasly and Leclerc don't overtake us our car is so much better than that Ferrari and that Alfa Tori as well as we set the fastest lap of the race and right now we're just trying to trail Lewis Hamilton's pace and then eventually when it comes to maybe the pit stops overtake him but if he does decide to push then we need to really force him and overtake him it's been like this for like the last three laps we're slowly but surely starting to extend the gap on Charles Leclerc we had a red uh, sector two but I do feel like we might get the overtake done here right now here we go DRS I'm not gonna put it into overtake yet I want to save my ERS around the outside now nah, we're not gonna we're gonna tow with him a little bit but if we are losing time to Leclerc then I guess we have no other choice than to actually make the move again we have DRS rich mix we're not gonna use the ERS we're gonna save the ERS Back to standard. Around the outside, we're going to do the switch back. Oh, he has it covered, though. Lewis Hamilton has covered us so far in this race. We're extending the gap to Leclerc, but we're closing in on Hamilton. It's a tenth and a half. Outside. Into 10 one once again. We're going to wait. As you can see, our ERS is on 70 plus percent, so we do have enough if we really want to get the overtake done. But I'm much rather save it when we either get him in the pit stops and then use it. He slightly goes defensive again, does Lewis Hamilton around the outside. We're going to try and use switchback though, but again, he's doing a nice job of covering us off there. Right, come on. The gap is now a second. I need to really start this overtake. If I want to win this race, this is where it must count. We're going to go on lap 14 actually no we're gonna go now even this next lap to go on to the hard tires here we go this is where the race is going to be won or lost i am keeping up with lewis hamilton but leclerc is closing in what is lewis hamilton doing he's pitting we're pitting we've got to do what lewis hamilton's doing we've got to catch him off guard if we want to win this race we must we must not let Lewis Hamilton into our sights. He comes in. Leclerc's in as well. Leclerc Gasly's in as well. This could be the difference. Are we going to win this race? Slow stop. There's Lewis Hamilton. We're ahead of the Mercedes. We are in the lead of the Brazilian Grand Prix. And most importantly, ahead of Leclerc and Grosjean. And ahead of Lewis Hamilton. We're in the net lead. Of the race. It was the most important thing. To come in at the same time. Because Leclerc and Sainz. And Gasly. I think has made the difference. In us winning this race. Lando Norris is out. And there's a safety car in this race. Very interesting. All game. when Since this game came out. The safety car has came out. At probably the wrong time, especially after pit stops. What's happened to Lando Norris? Where is Lando? He's not there. Where is Lando? Lando, where where is he? That's Carlos. Where is Lando? Oh, there he is. There's Lando. And it looks like he's going up the hill. And it looks like an engine failure for that McLaren Renault. Wow. Wow. I am fully focused on nailing this restart. I can't let Hamilton 
because let's face it, we are all on hards. Myself, Hamilton, Leclerc, Ricardo, and Ocon are all on hard tyres. This is going to be the strategy. I've got to hold on for the next 18 laps to win the Brazilian Grand Prix and to take the title of the World Championship. Got to wait until the safety car is in, warm up my tyres. And... Go. Right, we go now. And I think... Uh, I don't think I've done a good job there of, of getting rid of Lewis Hamilton. But we've done enough to retain the lead of the Brazilian Grand Prix. At least it wasn't like, um, you know, Maranello. Not, oh, actually, no, Mugello even. When there was a massive pileup. But we've done enough to secure the lead. The gap is slowly but surely starting to extend between myself and Lewis Hamilton. 1.6 seconds now. Now it's 1.7. Hamilton can't keep up with my pace. Now's the time to use the ERS. And now's the time to just extend this race. And hope that Hamilton can fall down the order. How is Leclerc still in fair place? I literally do not know. I heard that, they, that there's been a patch of sorts. And that Ferrari is still slower, but it looks like they haven't done anything to it. Six laps away from making history. I have not heard a word from where in a Nick De Vries is. And it's, it's going to be a shame. That we will not be able to win the Constructors. I don't know where Bottas is. I don't know where Bottas is. I think he's behind Ocon. But yeah. It's not looking good for us. In the Constructors wise. The gap is now nearly at 4 seconds now. Between myself and Lewis Hamilton. There it is. Just got to keep in the. Keep in the zen. And the focus. Call the scientists out. Oh no. Are you kidding me? Oh, another safety car. Oh dear. Another safety car. Great. Right, as soon as that safety car is in, I'm bolting away. Three laps left from history. And I'm not going to let anyone deny me of my glory in Formula 1 history. Away we go once again. And we're back in the lead. Of the Brazilian Grand Prix. We look up there. Right. I've got to get away now. Come on. I'm not letting Lam I'm not letting Hamilton win this race at all. Rich mix. Overtake. Let's go. The final lap. Hamilton is still behind me. And this has been a crazy season, eh? The first half of the season. I really wanted to win. But we just went there. And as the upgrades kept going and going and going, we got quicker. But I just didn't think it was going to be enough. I just didn't think we would have what it takes to become world champion. But with what happened in Mexico, we took the lead for the first time. And just like thieves in the night, around the final corner in Brazil, we win the Brazilian Grand Prix. We are Formula One World Drivers Champions. Fantastic drive. And it means your driver's world champion. What a result. Enjoy it. And so the celebrations begin, and well earned they are indeed. It may have looked simple at times, but as any racing driver will tell you, competing at this level, at the very top, is anything but simple. There's no catching them now then. We have a new World Drivers' Champion. Victory today then, but bittersweet emotions, I'm sure, as the championship slips through their fingers. Even so, what a fantastic final race of the season this was. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, the safety car completely changed the race, didn't it? It's hard to say exactly what would have happened without it, but there's no question that they came out of that situation in a good position.
Still no podium celebration after the World Championship win. That's weird. Why haven't they still added that podium celebration? I was... Uh, it doesn't matter anyway. We win the Brazilian Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton in second. Nick De Vries 12th. I mean, he did start last anyway, so I can't really blame him. Decent drive there. Charles Leclerc. Podium for Ferrari. Wow, that's weird. <laughs> Max Verstappen there. There it is. It's official by 23 points. We take the world driver's title. Mercedes are unfortunately the season two constructors world champions. I guess I have another reason now to do season three because even though we have won the constructors, well, the drivers, excuse me, the constructors are still not won. So there's still unfinished business to be settled with. But if you did enjoy this video, like the button, well, like the video, can we get to 30 likes on the video and do subscribe for season three Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the off-season. Goodbye.